secrets of food prep, making it taste really good and freezing it. All right, look at this. This is all of the fat and the ligatures or gristle chopped really fine with kitchen scissors, fried up, crispy. Then I got the mushrooms here, cooked in the beef tallow. And then I mix it together. This will be sprinkled over the steaks. And then when I unfreeze it and cook it, it will be nice and tender with a little crisp on it. And you're gonna love your frozen steak filet dinner. So, it does get a little smoky. So, what do we do about it? I'm gonna explain it. I have the fan here, but you wanna get a battery power plant and vent this stuff outside because in order to do this right, you want to cook it just right, and it has a tendency to smoke just a little bit. Always have your meat in the foil. Let it stand before you ever start the freezing process. It really draws the flavors into it. And since I use the pokey tenderizer, when I microwave this stuff on low power, over time, it's going to cook and it's going to hold uh, water in there. It'll cook from the inside. It'll be perfect. You'll be quite surprised how good steak can unfreeze and still be really good and taste fresh. Kind of had to learn this over a few years in order to get real quality prepped food. Uh, we're on our prep again. We're going to start putting it back on.